Lush forests once crawling with life, set ablaze and reduced to piles of ash. And the immediate impact of wildfires on the ground can be difficult to bear, but they have another far-reaching effect on humans. Smoke produced by the flames contains PM2.5, which is known to be toxic to our health. And the tiny particles have the ability to travel great distances. Uh, they're invisible to the naked eye with a diameter of around 2.5 micrometers, almost 30 times smaller than the average width of a human hair. Uh, the particles are even tinier than a red blood cell, which measures about 7 micrometers across. But their minuscule size is what makes them so deadly. As air is inhaled, particles enter the body through the nose and mouth. The larger bits that may irritate our eyes, nose, and throat are expelled through coughing, sneezing, and swallowing. But the smaller ones, such as PM2.5, head straight for the lungs. With every breath, they're able to penetrate deeper into the organs, eventually slipping into the bloodstream and traveling to other parts of the body. Now, researchers say wildfire smoke may be the most injurious type of air pollution to humans. One study found that it can be 10 times as harmful as other sources of PM2.5, including car exhaust. Exposure to these fine particles are set to worsen medical conditions, including asthma. It's also believed to increase the risk of cancer, heart attacks, stroke, as well as brain damage. Now, such effects are especially damaging to children whose immune defenses have not fully matured. Studies have shown that inhaling PM2.5 inhibits learning among adolescents. This means they could have trouble focusing at school, bring down those test scores. And it's not just kids. Poor air quality is associated with bad judgment, mainly in situations involving high risk and uncertainty. Take chess players, for example. Experts say they're likely to make more and bigger mistakes when there's a spike in PM2.5 levels. Poor air quality can sway stock markets, too. Investors are found to be more pessimistic and less willing to buy or hold stocks when in an environment of severe air pollution. It's also associated with a rise in crime rates. According to research, an increase of one microgram per cubic meter of PM2.5 brings violent crimes in the U.S. up by 0.53 percent, while promoting aggressive behavior in general. Well, finally, overall threat to lives. The World Economic Forum says air pollution accounts for around 6.5 million deaths each year. It's, however, a much smaller number compared to the billions of people who breathe in contaminated air that exceeds safe limits, according to the WHO. This silent killer is also racking up quite a bill. The World Bank estimates the global cost of health damages related to air pollution is equivalent to more than 6 percent of global GDP. It's the result of sick days, medical bills and reduced agricultural output, mostly in low and middle income countries.